I like these calm little moments before the storm. <laughs> Unfortunate news for the Zack Snyder Snyder called Deep Throaters. He himself is very excited for what James Gunn's DCU is going to bring to the massive worldwide audience. And here's what he had to say. You know, I'm a pretty open book. I really feel like, you know, if the characters are treated with reverence and mythologically correct, then I'm down. First of all, I don't know what the hell that means. Mythologically correct? Bro, like this isn't Greek mythology. This is superheroes. Do you mean comic accurate? Because <laughs> if that's if that's what you mean, then James Gunn is certainly going to bring that wholeheartedly. Uh, let's see what happens. I'm pretty excited. I mean, we're going to get Superman pretty soon. So we'll see what that's like. Well, I'll tell you what it's not going to be like. It's not going to be like Man of Steel, which again, I love Man of Steel, but a lot of people do not like that movie. I don't know why. It just is what it is. And I'm sure, you know, Zack Snyder, after the failed Rebel Moon, will probably be begging James Gunn to do a DCU project, which I'm sure James Gunn will be happily oblige Zack Snyder. Bros, come, bros, come, bros, come, bros, come. Hey, bros, our God is amazing. I'm just kidding. We all know Zack Snyder would never do a DC project ever again. Snyder and Gunn have history as the former director of Dawn of the Dead was written by the latter James Gunn. It just so happens that both would go on and become heavily involved with forming feature films based on DC Comics characters and stories. Following the news that Gunn and Seraphon would be taking charge at DC Studios, Gunn had shared how Snyder had contacted him at the time to wish him well with a new endeavor. All jokes aside, um, there's no competition, there's no hate between directors whatsoever. They want to support each other, they do support each other, but again, Zack Snyder doing his own thing and James Gunn is doing his, is doing his own thing and you know they're happily you know uh making uh films that they want to make so at the end of the day uh i think this is again just i, I was about to say something <laughs> i was about to say something but i'll just leave it at this Zack snyder was being very classy to james gunn as james gunn was being very classy to Zack snyder and of course you know the one thing that makes me happy is that the Snyder cult are sad, depressed, because they will never, ever get the Snyderverse, and Rebel Moon is just a trash series that Netflix will cancel um, any minute now, and uh, it's just a shame. And, I'm, and I hope it does get canceled, because I want Zack Snyder to get rid of those horrendous writers who wrote Army of the Dead and Rebel Moon, and I want Zack Snyder to do something else uh, that's, that's actually written by an actual writer. So hopefully that it all ends well with Zack Snyder. But that's going to be it. Hit like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, TikTok, see section in the comments below. What do you think of this news? And uh, yeah, the fact that, you know, Zack Snyder is very happy and excited for James Gunn's DCU is great news because we're all excited about what James Gunn is going to bring us for the DCU in the upcoming future. Love you all. Stay safe. Truth out. Off is the direction you can fuck.